Hey, the world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. Welcome back to Las Vegas! for such a great treat this evening because we are headed to what was recently voted the all-time best steakhouse in Las Vegas. That's right, the steakhouse at Circus Circus Las Vegas. And of course, we built up such an appetite because we want to make sure we give this place a good review. So we are starving and I think it's about time we hit the road. You ready? I'm ready. Let's rock! Welcome to the Steakhouse here at Circus Circus. We are so excited. I mean, the moment you walk into this place, it is exciting. And it was voted, what was that, David? Uh, this was voted, it's been voted many years, yeah. best steakhouse in Las Vegas. But, but this year it was voted best all-time all steakhouse in Las Vegas. So this is just the cream of the crop. Yes, and walking into this place, it really does feel like this throwback sort of spin here elegant and beautiful the decor is outstanding we met ron the manager general manager here and he's been here 35 years incredible just incredible and uh many of our fans have said hey you gotta go check out yes. this great steakhouse at circus circus so we are here for you and we're excited yes thank you. thank you guys so much for the recommendation we are dying to try this and of course we're starting off with a few of their choice cocktails now being that this is sort of a throwback to uh i don't know that feels like that old school vibe steakhouse vibe we're gonna leave it in the hands of our waiter and he's gonna pick out something I'm sure strong. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I'm so excited. Turn it yeah. on, world. Now oh, yeah. these are Manhattans. Uh, recommended by our waiter, Felix, who's phenomenal. Very knowledgeable here, by the way. And so we basically got two versions of the Manhattan. If you're familiar with Manhattans, you know what a Manhattan is, some vermouth. Uh, cherry um, has a, obviously it's gonna be bourbon based. So right. you have what is called the old fashioned. The old fashioned. On the rocks. On right? the rocks. Yes. A little orange zinger on the top of that. Mm. Let's give these a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Let's do it together. Mm. Let me tell you, they don't chance on that bourbon. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a great night. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Give it mm. a shot. See what you think. I think I might like this one better. Okay. I think you might. I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Very old school here in terms of the approach to the menu. Yes. Right. So every steak comes with a potato mm -hmm. and a vegetable. But before that, let me just yeah. mention, it's a very basic menu. And oh, it's very. A, it's not a lot on the menu, yes. but what it has is outstanding. Exactly. I mean, the menu is basically just a piece of paper, two sided. That's it. And that's it. That's so it. very simple. No need to change what's already perfect. Right. Like exactly. Exactly. Right. So very, very straightforward. And one thing I will let you know. These steaks, you guys, are big. You know, yes. they can be pretty big steaks. So they do not have a problem with you splitting it, which is kind of what we're going to be doing this evening, kind of splitting that steak, because I don't know if I can eat a whole steak by myself, just saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is not like, you know, you had a spot where it's A5 prime Wagyu or something where you're getting three or four ounces. Yes. This is a good sized steak. So again, thank you guys so much for that. Yes. And I will say this, now the prices are not cheap. And I'll say it's not cheap, but it's still a great value. At least what we've heard is a great value for the quality. So we'll, we'll test that out. It's all about that quality. Right? Kicking things off with an appetizer, we're going for the grilled garlic shrimp. Four jumbo shrimps cooked on a mesquite charcoal grill. Mmm, mmm. Right, mamma mia. Okay, so I'm Ooh. really excited about this. I love just looking at the shrimp. It has that nice sort of charred edges around. I love like, the charred edges. Right? And you can oh, yeah. smell that it was like definitely on a grill. It's definitely mm. grilled to perfection. It smells so good. From what it looks like. 
time to stop talking and start I know. eating. And to start eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Here we go. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> and they're really nice sized shrimps. Ooh, uh, they get, are. I'm gonna dip. I'm gonna dip with the best. Hopefully that's okay, but it's gonna have to be. These are serious jumbo. Wow, these are definitely jumbo. Yeah, here we All go. Right, here Ooh. we go. Ready? Here we go. All right, I got a plate, I'm so I'm gonna, gonna make use a it. mess as usual. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that is really, really good. I'm still chewing, guys. This is a jumbo shrimp. It's they really are jumbo. really, really good sized shrimp. Mm -hmm. Really good. You really taste the char too. That the grilling, you really do. nice. And when you dip yeah. that in the butter of uh, the garlic butter sauce, I love how it has like the crunch on the uh, the shrimp as well. Yeah. And you can definitely taste that that mystique grilled flavor that's coming from like the grill up there. I mean, it's it is perfection yeah. at its at its best. That's I really good. love it. I love the fact that they're so massive. Exactly. But we're married, so you can double dip. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Double dip all the way. Oh, what? It's mm. mm, good. That is really good. <laughs> <laughs> So tonight we are getting the bone-in ribeye. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to that. It's gonna be amazing. Now it's $69, but you also get your choice of a super salad and also your choice of potato as well. Yeah, so what we decided to do, because we're getting one steak and splitting it, we decided to go for an upgrade. Now an upgrade uh, is about 20 bucks. So this way you can have a split. I can have salad, he can have the soup, or he can have the salad, and I can have the soup. This is the black bean soup. Uh, looks actually really, really nice with some nice ground uh, pepper in there. Oh, I love that. Also some uh, red onions on the side and mm. some sherry, which I'm not really sure about yet. So I'll probably put that in after I try the initial black bean soup. So I end up getting what is more of their traditional salad here. It's nice because it's got a lot of things. Looks like it has those nice little sort of cherry tomatoes of various colors in there, some beets, and of course our waiter Felix suggested going with a little bit of that blue cheese crumble, which would pair really nicely with the Italian vinaigrette. And we're told this recipe has not changed in 30 plus years. So it's gotta be some pretty darn good black bean soup. If it hasn't changed for 30 years, right? it better be amazing. Exactly. I'm sure it will be. All right. The blue cheese really does bring home the flavor. Now, when you think blue cheese, you think strong, potent. Right, no, I do too. Blue I, think, cheese. I think really strong, yeah. No, not at all, actually. Wow. As a matter of fact, what happens is the beak in there tends to soften the, wow. the, the depth, the strength of that blue cheese, and it almost adds a complement flavor. So you taste all the different things going on in your mouth. It's just it's spot on delicious. And I gotta say, the uh, black bean soup, is really nice too, really fresh. It's not too thick. Sometimes black bean soup can be really thick. Really? It's not too thick, but it's really, <laughs> really creamy. You know, the red onion's nice as well. Yes. I've not tried the sherry. I'm just gonna pour that right in and give it a shot. I think you should. Here we go. Now this is gonna be interesting. That looks amazing. All right, here we go. Give it a shot. You gotta try this too. I here will, I definitely Ready? will. <laughs> it's called my name. Mmm. <laughs> wow. You definitely taste the sherry. Yes. It is good. Nice kind of contrast too with the uh, the black bean. So this is really good. This is really good. But I cannot wait for the ribeye because there's a surprise coming, Tanya. Really? There's a surprise coming. Now how so, do I not know about this? I don't know, we'll see. while we wait for our delicious ribeye on bone, let me just tell you guys, we had to get the sauteed mushrooms. They're $10 and that's gonna complement the ribeye right. so nicely. Right, we asked for it to be delivered with the ribeye. Delivered. Right? Not as an appetizer, so we wanna have those mushrooms with the ribeye. With the ribeye, oh, I mean, yeah. it's like Amazon. It's gonna be on top. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Dave. Yeah, so the ribeye has arrived. And keep in mind, we split the ribeye, so this is cut in half. They're good size. Good size portion. Yes. Perfect for us. And we had a surprise for Tanya. We actually got the broiled lobster tail as well because Tanya loves her lobster tail. I do. Yes. I am so, what a magical surprise. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> right? Thank you. All right, All right, here we go. Should we try this together? Oh, sure. Let's Sounds do good this. To me. Oh, my. And I end up getting one that has like the bone. Yeah, you the got bone the bone inside. On that. Yeah. But it just cuts right through. 
nice, oh, so fatty and tender. And it looks perfect. We asked for actually medium. Medium. Medium, medium rare. And it looks really nice. Nice yes. little red in there. That is wonderful. Each bite, you have the nice chard on the top. There's not a lot of seasoning in it, but it's perfect. You have the meat that really kind of enriches the seasoning. The taste from the mes mesquite grill, delicious. What do you think? Yeah. No, you nailed it. This is perfect. You you taste that mesquite grill. You right? do. Really on that, just so good. And you're right, it's not overly seasoned at all. So you really taste that uh, ribeye. Great, great, great ribeye. Really good. It's a perfect amount of fat, too. That's one nice thing about the ribeye. Mm -hmm. They have nice fatty pieces, which have so much flavor in them. And we love that. We kind of flame that over the uh, mesquite grill. It's perfect. 100%. Well said. So Felix actually suggested, too, the uh, sautéed mushrooms. Right. So I am definitely dying to see what this is going to be like. Oh, yeah. I'm always dying to try something. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Really it's good. It's so wonderful paired with them. So Felix, great job. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. All right, look at that. Ooh, there we go. So again, thank you so much for the surprise. I mean, I... And it was a surprise. Like I had no idea this was coming. Yeah, it's well done. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna cut you a piece. And since you got it from me, I'm gonna let you take the first bite. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? So I'll, I'll get to the one closest to you, so I don't okay. have to. I'll try to lean make over. Make a mess. So I can get all over my shirt. <laughs> which I can do fine just myself. Oh, you can. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sop up the butter. Sop it up. Soak it in That's butter. Heated butter. I mean, it's the one time you can indulge in butter and not feel super guilty. Exactly. Regret it later, just not at the moment. <laughs> mm. That is wonderful. And the nice thing about the lobster, too, it's not too heavy. So it's a nice contrast, too, with the steak. Yes. Right? So you can get twins for $86. Ah, you get twin but, for a lobster. Right, but if you just want uh, the side, which we got, it's $44. So something we learned about the beef they serve here is basically aged to perfection. So what they do is they have this in-house sort of glass cooler. They age it to about 21 days. Now why 21 days yeah. instead of in Vegas? 21. Bingo. 777. <laughs> <laughs> of course we had to get dessert. And on tonight's menu, we went with the Bananas Foster and the famous Junior's Cheesecake from Brooklyn, New York. Let me tell you, they were absolutely delicious. You know, there's truly something to be said about a place where the atmosphere, food, and service are all in alignment. Woo! All right, so I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. <laughs> so let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Well, what did you think? I will say this has been a fantastic evening and yes. you can't go out with a bang without having the espresso and Ooh. frangelico. So before we wrap this up, should we give this a try? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Cheers. What are you going to start with? I'm gonna, I, I, you know me, I like a little tart than sweet. You might like a little sweet than tart. I'm going sweet then. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's try it. Mm. A little espresso, a little frangelico. Mm. Mmm, that's good. Oh my, oh my. That's nice. That is definitely a way to call it an evening. And by the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get up every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in Las Vegas! Vegas.